from Bethlehem to the world. Palestinians say the Christmas message of hope started from their small city. They believe that Jesus was born here more than 2,000 years ago. This annual parade tells the Christmas story and tours different Palestinian cities. It starts the journey from Bethlehem, a city that depends heavily on tourism. But it's taken a hard hit in the past few years due to the pandemic. We suffered economically because of COVID closures. This year is better because more tourists were allowed in. Hopefully it will pick up. The political situation is difficult. The economic situation is even worse. But we are the people of the land and will remain steadfast in it. Christians used to make up 11% of the Palestinian population in the 1920s. Now they form less than 1%. Many here blame the Israeli military occupation. Organizers of the Christmas parade say it's one way the Palestinian government is working to keep Christians in their land. This festive mood is one way of maintaining the Christian presence here. We're also working with the world's churches to help Christians stay. Israel is doing everything to kick us out, but we counter that to keep Christian Palestinians in their lands. This Christmas comes after a bloody year for Palestinians. According to the UN, 2022 has been the deadliest in the occupied West Bank in 16 years. But people here say that this season of joy helps them through their struggle. This parade is the result of two months of work. Some of the carriages were brought from abroad, but others like this were made by artists from Bethlehem. The parade has had to take a pause. The day it was supposed to make its way to the city of Ramallah, a general strike was announced to mourn the death of a Palestinian prisoner in an Israeli jail. Across Palestine, people remember the loved ones they lost this year, more so around the holidays. At Al Jazeera's offices, this is the first Christmas without veteran reporter Shirin Abu Aqleh. She was killed by Israeli forces while on assignment in Jenin in May. Palestinians take pride that Jesus was one of them and like to celebrate his birth in the hope that one day they'll have peace. Nida Ibrahim, Al Jazeera, the Occupied West Bank.